Well, sentencing begins today for David Ware, the man found guilty of killing Tulsa Police Sergeant Craig Johnson and injuring officer Arash Zarkashan. Ware faces a possible death sentence. Two News Oakland reporter Caitlin Rivas joining us live with what we can expect from this next phase. Caitlin. Good morning, guys. Today, the jury will return to the courtroom at 930. After hearing more testimony, they will consider whether to sentence Ware to life in prison with the possibility of parole, life without parole, or give him the death penalty. The jury deliberated just three hours Friday after hearing closing arguments. Now, while defense attorney Kevin Adams argued Ware was in fear for his life, District Judge Bill of Fortune ruled the de defense did not provide sufficient evidence for the jury to consider a self-defense argument. Assistant District Attorney Kevin Gray told jurors that Ware brought the violence on himself by refusing to comply with officers' instructions and resisting. One of the things we wanted to really remind the jury and focus their attention on was uh, the fact that these are adult choices that were made and they come with adult consequences. And so today the jury was able to go ahead and, and for the first time tell Mr. Ware that there are consequences when you make bad choices. This week, the state will attempt to prove aggravating circumstances or facts that make a crime worse while asking the jurors to consider the death penalty. While the defense argues mitigating circumstances or facts that don't excuse an act but may reduce the degree of moral culpability. Their goal, trying to prevent the jury from choosing execution. Now, we could also hear victim impact statements either read into record or through witness testimony. The chief of police and president of the Fraternal Order of Police spoke to us right after that verdict was announced. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll hear that reaction. Live in the studio, Caitlin Rivas, 2 News, Oklahoma.